How's it going guys? Believe it or not, we are approaching series 38 for Forza Horizon 5. It's going to be announced later this week on Friday to be released next week. So this is going to be the final sort of prediction video. We're going to take a look at the clues we've got for what's going to be within the Hidden Horizons update. We've got some exclusive hide and seek gameplay and a teaser from Playground Games of the new Stadium Maze. So let's take a deep dive into Hidden Horizons, see if we can figure out what's coming. So if we take a look at the splash screen, we can see the following. We know it's going to release next week on September the 12th. The update will probably be a couple of days before that. And the most recent teaser is over on Twitter and it's actually the German Twitter. For some reason, they were the first Twitter account to release this sort of teaser image of the live stream and we can see let's go live stream friday september the 6th that is when the live stream is going to be so you can expect a video from me on friday showing exactly what the update has but there's obviously some key things to take from this we've got one of the cars that's in the photo which strangely enough is a car that's already in the game it's quite rare that playground games do this within the teaser image of the live stream they usually give us one of the new cars They've not done that this month as this KTM Expo GT2 or GT4 sorry is already in the game. So that's definitely not what they usually do but whatever I guess it means that whatever cars are coming are going to be a complete surprise. So forgetting about the cars for now what else is in this image? Well we can see that it is a very clear image of the stadium. The evolving world stadium changes that were actually noted on the previous screen Hidden Horizons as a stadium maze. So we've got a bit of a glimpse a bit of a teaser as to what the stadium has in store for us for this update and it's not what I expected. When I thought about a stadium maze I expected a pretty basic maze really but it seems to be well a 3d maze you can drive on top of it there's a ramp on top of it that's quite clearly where this photo is taken there appears to be some more ramps in the background what what it seems i would guess that maybe these little things are collectibles it certainly looks like they're designed to be grabbed and obtained and if we look a bit further down we can see down there what looks to be the road and the paths around this really bizarre shaped maze so pretty interesting to get a bit of a teaser as to what the maze is going to look like within the stadium and of course the stadium maze isn't even the main topic of this update we're obviously getting the brand new game mode which is hide and seek so in terms of teasers this is all we've got from playground games so far the ktm expo gt4 that's already in the game and a bit of a glimpse of what the maze looks like now one of the purposes of this stadium maze I believe was hinted at on the blog post. Sometimes on the blog post for an update there are things in that blog post that aren't mentioned on the coming soon page. This update is a prime example as over on the blog post it says next stop hidden horizons join us as we welcome a brand new game mode we know about that new reward cards we know about that the stadium maze we know about that and the return of pathfinder that is not mentioned anywhere else other than this blog post now what is pathfinder back in q2 of 2023 when we had the enhanced photo mode update they also included some pathfinder challenges and this was a total of 12 unique routes highlighted by markers that had been added to the map in free roam and three of them were available per week so this was pretty a season specific thing that was only doable within that season and we got a load of accolades to come through it as well that i'm pretty sure could only be completed during that season now this blog says the return of pathfinder is coming now i'm pretty damn sure that means that we're getting some new pathfinder challenges it's what it says on the tin really it's a pathfinder challenge you've got to get from one place to the other and i think there's a pretty good chance they could incorporate this into the stadium maze it's a maze after all the whole point of a maze is to get from point a to point b i think it'd be it makes sense for there to be a couple of pathfinder challenges within the maze so the maze might not just be a pointless evolving world addition to the stadium it might be related to the new pathfinder challenges which are returning as well whether they're also returning the previous pathfinder challenges for people to go back and do if you miss them i'm not sure but if i had to guess there will be some pathfinder challenges within that maze what else is coming in the update now let's quickly touch on the cars as cars are people's favorite topic the ktm expo gt4 is already in the game i'd say there's a pretty good chance the ktm expo gt4 will be returning to the festival playlist maybe the forts of Don shop in one of the challenges in terms of what new cars are coming this is one of them updates where pretty much anything could come unlike high performance dailies the update we're currently in we could narrow it down to cars that were 
high performance dailies. This update, it could literally be absolutely anything it could. Now Playroom Games do try to stick to a certain theme when it comes to the cars and there are a few ideas on screen right now of what theme they could try to focus on for cars for this update. Sleepers are certainly a possibility if we stick to the Hidden Horizons theme, hide and seek, hidden cars, sleeper cars, kind of makes sense but they really could just add anything in this update so we're not going to spend a ton of time talking about what cars could come because it could be literally anything i think at this point for this update of course we can refer to the leaked car list again this leaked car list just keeps proving itself over time i think this might have a couple of updates to do since july 22nd but again any car on here that suits the hidden horizons theme maybe maybe it'll come now i'm going to roll a little bit of gameplay on screen right now that i have managed to acquire it's a game of hide and seek from start to finish and it's a pretty good representation of how i think the hide and seek games are going to play it shows us the starting screen where the seekers can select their cars again just a quick reminder the seekers cars are obviously a lot quicker than the hiders cars but the good thing about this gameplay is as i said it does give us an accurate representation of how this game works and there's a few key points i just wanted to show you for example these scenes here where the hider is in what looks to be a jeep and he's trying to chill out in this town and there is definitely an increased amount of normal traffic cars for him to blend in with and they are all the exact car that he's in he's in a jeep all of the traffic cars around him are also the same car and it does actually show you that it could be quite easy and possible to blend in with the traffic cars a lot of people including myself did have a concern that if they've not increased the amount of traffic cars and if the traffic cars are all different then you're going to be able to tell which cars are person and which cars traffic well if this gameplay is anything to take it by, it may not be as easy as it seems. We can see that the Seeker's Detection Meter, I'm pretty sure, doesn't reset. If a Seeker has found you, that Seeker's Detection Meter will increase and it won't stop until you sort of get a good distance away and sort of disappear and hide again. So it's your goal over the first four minutes just to stay away from the Seekers as long as possible until the end zone, which is obviously the second four minutes, activates and then you've just got to beeline it there as quick as possible. It was interesting. The first thoughts I had was that, as I said, there weren't going to be enough traffic cars. I think the Seekers were going to be too overpowered with their abilities. And I don't know, it just seemed to actually work quite well. And the games can be quite short as well. Yes, it's an eight minute game split into two four minute segments, but the second four minute segment might only be 30 seconds if you make it to the end in time. I think this entire gameplay kit I have is five minutes and 13 seconds, and that's from absolute start to absolute finish. So these are really quick games to be having, which isn't a bad thing at all, really. It means you can fit more fun into it so we already know about that game mode hide and seek is going to release with this update stadium maze as well maybe some pathfinder challenges in there we can see that the hidden horizon splash screen also shows new clothing that's pretty generic nowadays it could be anything so we're not going to waste our time talking about that the cars hopefully quite good maybe we'll get a car pack so i think it's been a couple of updates since we've had a car pack so that just makes the chances even more likely but yeah those are all of the teasers we have for hidden horizons that's everything we know so far on on friday once the update is revealed i will of course have a video explaining everything from start to finish in detail that we haven't spoke about already leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you all later